Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to W Smartdown Radio presents the WWE 2K19 Universe Mode Bash at the Beach. Welcome, everybody, to WCW Bash at the Beach. I am your host, Brother Bob, and we are ready for some incredible women's championship wrestling action. Our main event tonight is a triple threat match between Becky Lynch, Asuka, and Charlotte for the WCW Championship. And as the pyro goes off, the fans are on their feet, ready for some more WCW action. You would have to imagine that those in attendance have been waiting for this night for a while now here in California a perfect place for Bash at the Beach and our first match is a number one contender for the television championship match And we start off with some huge number one contender action. It's a fatal four-way match. We've been signed. Number one contender for the TV contest championship. is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Tony Storm. Tony Storm got over quick with the WCW crowd. The fans here love Tony Storm. Of course, Tony Storm. Came up through the Mae Young Classic tournament. Wrestled part of UK's NXT. Now she's here in Women's Championship Wrestling. Basically, the, the way this is set up, the winner of the match will have an opportunity at the TV title at their choosing. Not not a money in the bank contract type thing. They can't just cash it in whenever, but they can choose the the sh the program where they want that opportunity. And all four women in this match have been impressive during their time here in WCW, getting wins over uh, top contenders or getting wins over champions themselves. Now here comes the first her first opponent for the evening. And her opponent first from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. Now Mickey's got wins over X Division champion Kyrie Sane in the last month. She's been impressive. And uh, that's what got her as part of this uh, Fatal 4 event. Of 
just got to wonder if Mickey's going to be out there with Alexa later tonight. If Alexa gets her exhibition title shot. Neil Dashwood, uh, she managed to get revenge on Shayna Baszler, beating her after having lost to her in the WCW title tournament. She's been impressive in multi-women matches, and she's looking for an opportunity at some championship gold. Of course, Tennille is formerly known as Emma. She's a former WWE a women superstar. She also wrestled for Ring of Honor and appeared at the All In pay per view. And she wants title opportunity. She wants to be a world champion, and getting there is is a difficult prospect. So, getting your hands on the television championship is a step in the right direction. It's all about Emma. And new on the scene, and he joined up with Charlotte Flair, his daughter of a horseman, Tessa Blanchard. Tessa got a take team victory over Becky and Asuka, and managed to beat Bailey last Thursday on Thunder. Of course, Bailey had that TV title opportunity tonight. So, impressive, impressive list of victories have come to her in her couple weeks here in WCW. And this is going to be an opportunity for her to win some championship gold. Or at least put herself in that picture. <clears throat> Much like her partner in crime, Charlotte. Kick. James looking for a finisher here. 
Lucky. Oh. She plants Tessa Blanchard. Mickey James with a huge victory. <laughs> now she gets a TV title shot. Tessa Blanchard just eats that kick. Unexpected victory by Mickey James, taking a beating in the ring, but proving that she is a dominant competitor here in WCW. Here is your winner, Mickey James. So Mickey James one on one against the winner of the TV title match tonight. Whenever she chooses. Um, next singles action, first time match between Leva Bates and Spring Tiger. Be an interesting match for us to see. Both of these women have had opportunities at the TV title recently, both having lost. <clears throat> both of them would like to pick up a win and get back on that winning track tonight. Singles action coming up next. Huge match to start the show. Now we got some singles action. Making her way to the ring from Florida, Love A. Bates. Leva Bates looking for an opportunity. Win here tonight. Put your back into the possible little title pitcher for the TV title. Her and Spring Tiger currently sitting towards the bottom of the roster in regards to that belt due to their losses to the TV champion. Of course, leave a loss to Bailey. While Spring Tiger just recently lost to one Sonya Deville. We'll see which one of those two come out with the title after tonight. And her opponent from Tokyo, Japan, Sue Prince Tiger. Spring Tiger coming out, known from the anime program Tiger Mask. I'm not quite sure who's under that mask. Nobody's, uh... The, the, there's a lot of rumors. Nothing substantiated. But whoever it is, the hell of a worker. And to be honest, we may never... Oh, spear off the bat from Leva Bait. Nice reversal. Oh! Arm ringer over the shoulder. Got to leave it in that corner. Nice reversal by Leva. Punching and kicking her way out of the corner. And a big suplex onto Green Tiger. Missed the kick. Let me tell you. Oh. Atomic drop. Right back with a chop of her own. And another 
Another suplex. And a big slam. Blue the base going to the second rope here. And a big splash. Jake to the center of the ring. Oh, big cut kick to the stomach. Diva Bates fired up. Throws in the corner. Monkey flips the spring tiger out. Stiff kick to the back. Stop. Slams her head first. Rude working over the midsection. Oh, now she's going into the legs here. Oh, stomps him. Oh, elbow drop to the inner thigh. Oh, stiff kick to the back. Oh, big takedown by Spring Tiger. Back suplex by Leva. Throws her in the ropes. Oh, spears her. And Leva Bates, the only one in the ring. Oh, big dive Whoa. through the ropes on the Spring Tiger. Two. Three. Oh, Spring Tiger sends Leo Bates in the ring. Oh, with a code breaker type maneuver by Leo Bates. Two count. Spring Tiger gets the shoulder up. Oh, he's holding it. Taking Spring Tiger up. Oh. Super kicks the leg. Oh, big stomps. That was devastating. Oh, Two fall here. <coughs> Leva Bates gets the win. Oh, the much better than expected match. Fans here on their feet for Lever Bates. Are we going to see some good sportsmanship between the two? Ah, looks like we are shaking hands. Your winner, Lever Bates. Next, take team action. The Iconics and the Harlem Heat. You'd have to think the winner here will be considered number one contender for those take. 
or they've been held by the riot squad. Booker T in the corner of the Harlem Heat. They're giving them wisdom for their matches. <clears throat> and here we go. This is a match where the winning team would have to be considered a top contender for the tag titles. So here come the Iconics first. They've suffered some losses to Harlem Heat as of recent and would love to get back on the winning track. They know that this match would have to put them in contendership for the tag titles, which is where they want to be. That's their that's their goal here in WCW is to win those tag team titles. See if they can get this win tonight. If they can, man, it, it definitely propels them in that direction. But Harlem Heat's been on a winning streak. And King Booker changed things up for them, having originally tried the game plan of the original Harlem Heat, starting out the Smaller, more athletic Ember Moon, following up with Bianca Belair, much like Booker T to start matches and Steve Ray to follow. Uh, they changed that up and start matches now with Bianca, and they've been getting wins much easier that way. And their opponents, accompanied by King Booker, Bianca Belair, and Ember Moon, Harlem Heat. And changes like that that Booker made uh, showed that he is going to do well as a, in a managerial role. Um, he understands the tag division and he seems to understand the, the strengths of these two athletes that he's managing. Fans are ready for this match. Harlem Heat and Iconics become a go-to match here in WCW. It's a feud that I assume is going to continue for years to come. Oh, Peyton Royce gets the clothesline in early on Bianca Belair. Coming in the house of fire, choking, choking Bianca now. They have to be aggressive. I mean, Bianca Belair's strength just is impressive. Oh, more choking. The referee needs to get in there and, and stop that. That is not good sportsmanship. That is not what we want to see here in, in the championship wrestling. More, more choking on the part of Peyton Royce. Oh, man, just blatantly. Referee, what are you doing? Oh, now Booker T's up on the apron. Just doing his best to distract Peyton Royce to give uh, Bianca Belair a chance to get to her feet. She does, and... Oh, drops! Peyton Royce. Oh, 
shot block. This is not quite what we expected. We've not seen the ferociousness out of Bianca Belair, but then again, that's quite possible because Peyton Royce kept her on the mat. Oh! Another big back rake. Oh, here comes that power. There's the power of Bianca Belair. Oh, dropping Peyton Royce face first against the ropes. And she takes in Hammer Moon. Bianca needs a reprieve. Now, get the two smaller women in the ring together. Oh. Get that back kick. Got Ember in the corner. Oh, running her face down the ropes. Coming back below. And Booker's up on the apron again. Complaining to the referee about these cheating tactics used by the Iconics. Oh, big suplex. Stop. Bam. She drags Billy Cave or Peyton right back to the center of the ring. Oh, suplexes there. Right now Peyton Royce is in a bit of dire straits here. Oh, good reversal. Get you with that leg drop. Oh, there's that big kick. She's waiting for him to get to her feet. She's going for the multiple suplexes. You gotta think this could really take a lot out of Ember Moon. Oh. And a tag into Peyton Royce. Or taking the to Billy K for Peyton Royce. Now now the iconics have their more muscle bound teammate in. They're stronger over there too. And we'll see if they can take advantage of that. Shot to the stomach. Oh, good drop kick. Oh, big elbow drop. I wonder if he had put a chair in the ring at some point. The referee really needs to get out of there. in that chair. Oh, big kick. Did it again. Here it comes. Boom. Huge kick to the head. Over the pinfall. Rope break. And broken up by Bianca Belair. And the 
taken to Billy Kay. Going for the pinfall. And she gets it. And the Iconic get the win. Man, Ember Moon was completely knocked out there by that kick. And, you know, part of it may have been the, the drop head first in the chair, to be honest, before the kick is. That was devastating. Right here. Boom! Head first on the chair. That chair, of course, was introduced by Booker T. And she got to the ropes the first time. But... Right, we're not sure what camera angle that is, truck. But regardless, the iconic with a huge victory as we stare at the ground. Oh, there we go. There's the pinfall here. Here Big win for the iconic. You have to wonder if a shot at the tag titles are on the horizon for the Iconic after a big pay-per-view win tonight here at Bash of the Beach. Up next, the WCW television title is on the line. Our first title match of the evening. Bailey gets her rematch against Sonya Deville, who won the title by pinning Chelsea Green when they had their triple threat match. So this is Bailey's opportunity to get revenge and win back the championship she feels still belongs to her. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Television Championship. former champ, along with her wacky waving arm flailing inflatable tube men. Wacky waving arm flailing inflatable tube men. Wacky waving arm flailing inflatable tube men. Al Harrington making a fortune off of selling these wacky waving arm flailing inflatable tube men to Bailey. She comes out here tonight at Bash of the Beach looking to win back her WCW television championship. But, I think Sonya Deville has other plans. Should be an impressive title match between the two. And the winner of this one, I think they'll look forward to facing Mickey James in the near future. Here comes the champion, along with her tag team partner. Tony DeVille, Mandy Rose, Absolution coming down to the ring together. Thank you. 
Bailey getting in the ring early. Oh, DDT. The match started. DDT on the belt off the bat. Oh, Bailey moves out of the way and took it to go. Eat the turnbuckle. Oh, nice power bomb from Bailey. Bailey aggressive here tonight. She wants her championship back. She's unhappy with how she lost it. She felt it was unfair. relies on so Bailey needs to stay on top of her, of her throughout this match. Chop, form, kick, slam, Bailey off the rope. Oh big elbow drop. Strikes and submissions are where Sonia Deville makes her living. Bailey pulled over on the pin. One count. Twisted down the neck of Sonya Deville. Elbow drop. Oh, drop kick. Knee drop. Suplex. Oh, big elbow from the second row. Look that next some more. Billy just staying completely on top of things here. Oh, another elbow drop from the sternum. And another. Oh, a jumping elbow drop. Okay, I'm showing you to get up. Could this be it? Bailey to Bailey. Oh, reversal. Oh, look at that. Ooh, submission maneuver. Bailey getting out. That's how, that's how she won the championship. Bailey, proud. Oh, DDT. Another big elbow. And Bailey back to the head and neck of Sonya Deville. And it shows how quick Sonya Deville is and how dangerous she is. Bailey has been on the offense the entire match. Sonya still almost got that win by locking her into that submission lock on the arm. As we said before, WCW is a dangerous place for, for those who don't, don't know how to protect their arms in, in a submission situation. The big suplex again. Bailey's gonna try again for the belly to Bailey. Up on the apron now. Okay, just continue. Another elbow drop. We'll go for the second up again. Sonya Deville. Oh, big kick. Nailed Bailey in the face. Two, 
Sonia Deville retains out of nowhere. An impressive victory. And one has to argue, Bailey could have had this one if Mandy Rose hadn't been in ringside. Mandy Rose causing the distraction when Bailey had a pinfall attempt. Seemed to have Sonya to build on for longer than a three count. See it there. Here is your winner. So you need to the Cooking Championship. WCW Want to see what television said champion on Nitro about, about the situation. Up next, the X Division title on the line. Alexa Bliss hoping to bring home gold. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Action Championship. We've seen the TV title defended tonight. Now we'll see if Kyrie Sane can do the same with her X Division Championship as she faces off against Alexa Bliss. And there's the number one contender for the TV title, Andrew James. champion, inaugural X Division champion Kyrie Sane, who won the belt at New Blood Rising. She's looking to defend it here tonight. This is her first title defense. And both Alexa and Mickey James have been a thorn in the side of Kyrie Sane since winning that X Division championship. see what those two have up their sleeves tonight. They're both out here together. Of course, Mickey James won an opportunity at the television title earlier tonight, which then, controversy in that match as the referee was distracted while Bailey had a pinfall on the champion, Sonya Deville. Sonya managed to eke out a victory after that. You have to know that Commissioner Chris Stratus i have to be looking at that quite closely. And here we are. There's the WCW X Division Championship on the line. Introducing the challenger 
from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Former WWE Women's Champion, both on Raw and SmackDown. Introducing the champion from Yamaguchi, Japan. She is the WCW Action Champion, Kyrie Sane. Former NXT Women's Champion and Mae Young Classic title hol er, tournament holder, Kyrie, holding up that WCW X title. Kyrie says press off the bat. Lane punches into Alexa Bliss. Elbow shots to the head, and that head scissors. Oh, Mickey moves out of the way as looks like Kyrie was going for her. Harry slides right back in the ring and nails Alexa with a forearm shot. It shows how quick and precise Kyrie Zane is. Head scissors again, elbows, to the top of the head. Mickey James trying to create the distraction here. It's working pretty well. Alexa. Oh! Backdrop onto Kyrie. Alexa's first offense of the night. She misses that kick, Kyrie Sane. Oh, deliver the back, drop right back to, Ky back to Alexa. There's the double stomp by Kyrie. Kick to the chest. Alexa reverses the arm drag. Puts Kyrie in the ropes. Nice reversal by Kyrie Sane. Waiting for Alexa to get to her feet. Oh, spear! Nice fake out off the ropes. Alexa gets back in, goes for the spear. Now working over the arm of Alexa Bliss. Another head scissor. Going up top. Oh, Moonsault. Alexa got the knees up. He'll advise Moonsault by Harry Sane. Looks like looking here into the corner. Oh, forearm shot. And Kyrie makes the floor. Oh, Kyrie sends Alexa into the apron. Two. Slams her on the floor. Kyrie going to the top rope. Waiting for Alexa to get to her feet now, it looks like. Four. Oh, flying forearm shot to the outside. Better than that. Arm bar again on the floor this time. Trying to coax the left of your feet. Oh, back hand blow. Oh, there's Mickey James back in the face of, of Kyrie Sane. The left gets to your feet, man, you get back in the ring. Corner now. Oh, 
Oh, broke the arm. Now, Alexa bringing Kyrie out to the middle of the ring. Oh, Kyrie catches the leg. Oh, dragon screw. Big suplex. Head scissors again. More shots to the top of the head of Alexa Bliss. Looks like Kyrie's going up. It's gonna be it here. Calling for it. Oh, and she nails that elbow. Kyrie with the big elbow drop from the top. Take another look. Here it is. Oh, just nails Alexa Bliss. Going for the pinfall. Oh, Mickey James up on the apron. This is just like what happened in that TV title match. Kyrie holding, holding on. Two, three. It was enough. That elbow drop. So impressive. Alexa Bliss tries going after Kyrie. Oh! Alexa Bliss takes out the referee afterwards. Big win for Kyrie Sane. Up next, WCW tag titles on the line. As Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey look to take the belts from the Riot Squad. On the right squad, attacking early. Oh, now 
Rhonda and Shayna Baszler are on the outside. Down at the back of Runner Rousey. Four. Trying to get into her feet. Right. Oh, there's that big kick. Head. Six. And the tag into Liz Morgan. Oh, who then takes Gina Baser out. Take into Ruby 
try it. Slide. Mark Carvana, one for the pin. No luck there with that pin fall attempt. Still quite impressive though. Let me try it. Oh! Stiff kick to the back. Another. Up next, the WCW World Championship match. Asuka, Charlotte, Becky Lynch for Becky's Women's Championship. And Becky fend off both of these women and retain her championship. The man says she can. And we tend not to doubt what was the words of one Becky Lynch. Of course, Charlotte has been a thorn in the side of the champ. Introducing the challenger 
from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte and Tessa Blanchard making life miserable for both Becky Lynch and Asuka. Charlotte's still upset that Becky knocked her out first match of the WCW title tournament. And the first Nitro of this new era. Hmm. It's also upset that Asuka managed to get a title opportunity. Decided that that opportunity belonged to her. So sneak attacks on both these her competitors tonight. to insert herself into this match. It worked. It's here. It's a triple threat. Bash at the beach. Pay per view her father has won on numerous times. But she's got some stiff competition. And introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan. Asuka! In the ring, Asuka. Empress of Tomorrow. We got the Queen, the Empress, and the Man in this match. So Asuka's picked up a couple wins over Charlotte, though Charlotte did beat Asuka on the most recent episode of Thunder, our Go Home show. Also, Tessa Blanchard managed to pick up a tag team pinfall victory over Asuka. And Asuka and Becky face Charlotte and Tessa. But Tessa did have that element of surprise. Oh, now coming out next is the champ. Here comes the man. And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland. She is the WCW World Champion, Becky Lynch. The man coming to the ring. Everybody in WCW loves Becky Lynch. The fans love her. Commentators love her. Backstage, ring crew, Becky Lynch is proven to be the kind of champion we want here in WCW. I think the question we all have is will she keep the belt tonight though? Got uphill, it's got a struggle. No championship advantage in this one. There it is, World Heavyweight Championship. WCW title on the line. Queen, the Empress, the Man. Oh, Becky going after Asuka. We would have thought for sure her first attack would have been on Charlotte, but Becky Lynch surprising everyone here. Maybe she's trying to get Asuka out of the way early. Charlotte just standing back watching. Oh! Got the legs. Becky's got to realize going with the legs is a good idea because doing that is going to set up Charlotte for her figure eight much sooner than it's going to set up Becky for for disarmor. Oh, and again at the legs. Oh, Charlotte tried to sneak attack. Becky 
Rocked it versus now she slammed Charlotte. Charlotte running out of the ring. Leaving Asuka in there with the man, Becky Lynch. Becky Smart going for a pinfall early. Charlotte's out of the ring. The two count. Asuka with the reversal there. Charlotte tries to sneak attack. Oh. Good chop. Reversal by Becky. Leg drag Charlotte down. Arm drag by Charlotte onto Becky. Oh, Becky. Punch the gut. Oh, Charlotte clothesline. And Becky's out of the ring. This is not where Becky Lynch wants to be. This is how you lose your championship. Charlotte in there alone with Asuka. Becky having already done a lot of work on Asuka. Do not want to leave Asuka and Charlotte in there alone. Oh, big chop by Charlotte Flair. Up and down. Drop Charlotte on her back. Oh, she's going for the disarmor. She got her in it. Charlotte, reversal. And then immediately getting attacked by Asuka. Now Asuka going after Becky Lynch. Oh! Shenanda, Becky, broken up by Charlotte, Becky back out of the ring, oh Asuka, big kick to Charlotte's face, big knee drop there as well, oh she got her in a submission, Charlotte fighting her way out, Toss. Oh, Charlotte takes down. Asuka. Oh, Becky misses that top. Ask him multiple clothes on the Charlotte player. Becky got, oh, reversal. Oh, reverse DDT. Oh, blood across the throat. Charlotte. Going for the disarmor. She's on the ropes. Going for the pin on Charlotte Flair. Oh, almost get the three count. Asuka there for the save. Oh, big clothesline to the face. Becky goes up top. Oh, a leg drop on to Asuka. Pinfall attempt. Oh, two and a half. Head scissors. Bring elbows to Asuka's head. Oh, and then Charlotte Flair down. Oh, dropped her arm first. Up. Oh, nice 
potential. Goes off to the rope. Oh, Oscar reverses that there too. They can come Charlotte. Oh, great perspective. And now where Becky wants to be. Charlotte gets to the ropes. Flash. Pinfall attempt. Rope break. To the back. Oh, reversal again. Oscar's on top of her game. Oh, kick to the head. on Becky. Becky rolling to the outside. No, Charlotte's going for the pin on Asuka. And Asuka kicks out. Barely. Two count. Nice reversal there by Asuka. Oh, spear by Charlotte. Not where Becky wants to be right now. Charlotte has a finishing move. Going for the pinfall on Asuka. Becky. Breaks it up. Even Charlotte Flair in the ring with Asuka. Charlotte and her finisher now. And the rope break happens. Armor. Run another rope break. Really being lucky here with these rope breaks. Run another one. He rolling Charlotte into the center. And she gets the pin. Charlotte managed to sneak out of the arm arm bar that disarmed her submission move. But Becky Lynch smart enough to roll her to the center of the ring for that pinfall. match where three, three ladies have amazing submission maneuvers ends in pinfall victory as the champ keeps her championship. The man Becky Lynch still WCW champion. You look at these replays. Tons of reversals in this match. Here is Becky your Lynch wins it. And still WCW world champion Becky Lynch. Huge win for Becky Lynch. We'll check out the fallout from this. Coming up 
on Monday on WCW Nitro. Join us then, folks.